We've got full-on Threadripper 2 specs with an interesting push from AMD. Plus, a sweet new system on a chip from AMD has been revealed. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Second generation Threadripper is almost here, but with this launch, there's something a little peculiar. Sure, there's double the cores, but apparently AMD is planning to focus on something different this time. Brought to us by Video Cards, a very reliable source and leaks that leaked the box art and nearly everything else last year for Threadripper, has gotten their hands on pretty much everything from names to CPU specs and pricing. Now, I will say that I couldn't confirm this, but they've definitely been quite accurate in the past, so it's about as good as it gets. Before I get to the specs, let's go over their names. While the company is mostly sticking to the original naming scheme, this time they've added either a WX or X. According to video cards, the WX is aimed at quote creators and innovators, while the X is for enthusiasts and gamers. And they quoted both of these as AMD's actual words. What's odd is that the 12 and 16 core models, both to be X variants, are, well, 12 and 16 cores, which have never been named at gamers in the past, and for good reason. No games utilize anywhere near this amount of cores, much less the multi-threading that both chips have. Basically, I wonder if there could be something we don't know for the future of games. I mean, Intel has also upped their core count to double what it was just a year ago, if this 8-core chip we keep hearing about comes to fruition. Basically, we might just be capable of using our higher core chips much sooner than later. That or AMD is branding this as gaming for its impressive clock speeds, which brings me to the specs. Starting with the lowest offering, the 12-core 24-thread 2920X has a 3.5 GHz base clock with a 4.3 GHz boost. Yeah, that's a nice setup and it comes with a TDP of 180 watts and a price of $649. Next up is the 16-core 32-thread Threadripper 2950X with the same 3.5 GHz base clock but an incredible 4.4 GHz boost. It also has a rated TDP of 180 watts and it comes in at $899. Moving up is a 24-core 48-thread Behemoth, the 2970WX. It gives us a 3.0 GHz base clock with a still sweet 4.2 GHz boost. The rated CDP is higher at 250 watts, and this CPU will set you back $1,299. Lastly is AMD's monster of a chip, their full 32-core 64-thread 2990WX, and it comes with the same 3.0 GHz base and 4.2 GHz boost. Yeah, that's a stock boost clock, and it doesn't require a cooler the size of a PC. <clears throat> Talking to you, Intel. The 2990WX comes priced at the already rumored $1,799. And of course, that's not cheap, but remember that we're talking about 32 cores here. Getting anything like this on Intel's side is upwards of 5 to 10 times the price. When it comes to release date, we don't have anything concrete, but according to video cards, the 32 core will release first with the rest coming, quote, later. Next up for today is a recent announcement from AMD. The company has created a custom system on a chip that's seriously impressive for the Chinese company Subor, if that's how you pronounce it. Unfortunately, the chip is currently only set for the Chinese market, but there's certainly a chance for something similar to make its way to other countries like the US. What's really interesting is that it comes packed with some serious specs. The SoC comes with a 4-core 8-thread CPU based on the Zen architecture and runs at 3 GHz. As for the GPU, it comes with the Vega 24 with, you guessed it, 24 compute units. That's over double the units of AMD's 2400G APU. As for its RAM, the SoC comes with 8GB of GDDR5 video RAM. So far, Subor plans to offer the chip in both a console and PC that were shown off at a China Joy event in Shanghai. The console is expected to release by the end of this year and its PCs by the end of this month. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for the potential of high core CPUs in gaming? Or what about mid-range powerful SoCs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.